Hi everyone, I'm Jess from Sunbeams Jess. Welcome to Icon UK. So it's nearly Halloween and like everyone, I love dressing up at this time of year. Last year I was a skeleton, but this year I'm going to show you a glamorous gothic makeup look that's perfect for Halloween, but it also is very wearable. And it's on trend for Autumn Winter 15, so you get extra style points. So let's get started. To start off my makeup, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Paris Primer. I'm just going to apply this with my fingers. It's going to help the staying power of my foundation and also create a really nice base for it to go on. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Liz L Signature Foundation. I'm going to use my hands with this to create a really natural look. Liz L is originally a skincare brand, which means this foundation will be really kind to your skin at the same time as providing coverage. I find that warm fingers are the best tools to really blend out your foundation. To set my makeup, I'm going to use the Vichy Derma Blend Setting Powder. If you want your makeup to last, it's really important to powder. This one is translucent, but you can use a powder that's the same shade as your skin to add a little bit more coverage. Starting on the eyes, I'm going to use this NARS eyeshadow in Ondine. This is like a purpley plummy colour which is perfect for a gothic makeup look. I'm just going to put a wash of this all over the lids because the focus is really going to be on the lips but this will complement them really nicely. And I'm going to put a little bit underneath the eye as well. Add to my subtle eye look, I'm going to use this Silver Bourgeois eyeshadow. I'm going to put this eyeshadow on the inner corners of my eyes to make them pop. It just adds a little bit of an extra dimension to the eyeshadow. Next up, I'm going to use the NYX Fly With Me Mascara. Because I'm not wearing any eyeliner, I'm really going to layer up this mascara. add a little bit of a sun-kissed glow to my skin, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder. I'm just going to bronze where the sun would hit my face, so on my forehead, on the tops of my cheekbones, and on my nose and chin as well. Instead of having pale skin for this look, as you would traditionally have for a gothic makeup look, I am going to be bronzing the skin to make it a little bit more wearable, and it would be great for a night out. To start off my statement lip, I'm going to use MAC's Night Moth Lip Pencil. This lip liner is a really deep dark purple, perfect for a gothic look. When I apply lip liner, I always fill in the entire lip. It helps to create a crisp line, but it also helps to intensify the colour. To finish off the lips, I'm going to use this Topshop Matte Lip Bullet in More Than A Woman. So this is another deep colour, making the lips really intense. So that's the makeup done, but to finish off my look, I've used this L'Oreal Paris Nail Varnish, and I find that the colour really complements my lipstick. And this nail varnish also comes with a gel top coat, which not only makes your nails shinier, but helps them to last longer. So that's the finished look. I hope you like this glam goth makeup and if you try it at home, let us know in the comments below. Click here for more from me and don't forget to subscribe to Icon UK. Bye.